This is the easiest and most foolproof method of updating firmware on Express LRS receivers. What we're going to do is generate the firmware file on the Express LRS configurator, but not flash using that method. And then we're going to flash it using the receiver generated web user interface. So first up, without connecting the receiver to anything, open Express LRS configurator. Pick which release you want, we're going for 3.3.2. Choose the correct target for your receiver. We are doing a uh, beta FPV 2.4 gigahertz receiver, and it is the little PWM. Beta FPV, P, beta FPV PWM. And then we choose flashing method Wi-Fi. Not UART, not beta flight, flight pass-through, we choose Wi-Fi because that gives us the option of building without flashing. Choose your device options. Uh, I usually leave all of these as they are, uh, apart from putting in my own binding phrase, and then click build. And that will generate a firmware file. There it is there, firmware.bin.gz. Now copy that onto your desktop uh, because this file is sort of buried deep in the file structure in your computer and you'll never be able to find it again. So copy it onto the desktop. Now close down the configurator. Next step, connect up your receiver just with power, nothing else. And wait for 60 seconds until it goes into Wi-Fi mode. The LED started fast flashing, that is now in Wi-Fi mode and it is generating uh, a Wi-Fi network which we can join on our computer. So join the Express LRS receiver network and the web user interface will pop up. This is being generated by the little receiver. So what we can do with this one is click update, grab that firmware file and drag it onto the choose file. There we've got the firmware file loaded there. Just click update. And it's flashing. And that's job done. If we connect, reconnect to the Wi-Fi again to just to check that it's worked, we can see the firmware 3.3.2 for the beta FPV PWM 2.4 gigahertz receiver.